Welcome to Academies Australasia. Academies Australasia Group has colleges throughout Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Armadale, Brisbane, the Gold Coast, Perth and Singapore. Our Perth campus is located on Level 1, 120 Row Street, Western Australia. On the campus, you'll find computer labs with printers and internet access, Wi-Fi and a student lounge. This is what our website looks like. We recommend you take a look around the website before you begin your course. Simply go to www.academies.edu.au. Here you'll find timetables, forms, Academies Australasia email addresses, access to Paradigm and e-learning, and more information on university pathways. This is our Academies Australasia Facebook page. Give us a thumbs up and follow us for the most up-to-date news and information. The systems you will use while you are studying are Paradigm, which is a student management system, and this is where you'll enrol subjects, and the e-learning system, and this will give you all your information about assessment details, online resources, class notes and forums, and you will access this e-learning system very regularly. Your Academies Australasia email address is your student number at studentmailwa.academies.edu.au. This is the Paradigm login page. Here you will need a username and password to log in. Please refer to the orientation email you receive for more information on how to log in. This is the e-learning login page. Here you will also need a username and password and you can refer to the orientation email for more information on how to sign in. This is the student email sign-in page where you will need an email and password to sign into your Google account and Google email address for the school. And please refer to your orientation email for more information on how to sign into your student email. Overseas student health insurance cover. This covers you from the date of arrival. It must be paid for the duration of the course covers for doctors, hospital, ambulance and prescribed medicines. Overseas student health insurance cover membership cards can be collected at student services. Student support services. If you have issues regarding living and studying in Australia, contact our student services at reception. If you have academic issues, contact a relevant course coordinator by arranging an appointment from student services. For legal services, students are advised to contact Legal Aid and Fair Trading. For workplace related issues, students are advised to contact the Fair Work Ombudsman. Included services with your course include English remedial classes. This is assistance with English language skills and remediation and assistance with resumes and cover letter writing. You will need to arrange an appointment with student services. Administrative matters. Change of personal details. You must inform the college of any changes in name, address, contact details, emergency contact details, enrollment status or visa status within seven days. Transcripts and certificates. At the end of your course, a certificate indicating a level of achievement will be issued to you. You will need a unique student identifier or a USI to obtain a certificate or qualification. The student handbook and other important information is provided on the link below and has been emailed to you. 
The student handbook contains information about college rules and regulations, policies and academic requirements and is updated regularly. Please take the time to read it and if you require further information or assistance, contact our staff at Student Services. You will receive the student information pack by email. Please check your emails. In here, you will find more information on how to apply for your USI, more information on how to access various emails, the student handbook and more. Every student will need a unique student identifier or USI to obtain their certificate or qualification from their registered training organisation when studying nationally recognised training in Australia. The USI details must be provided to the college upon commencement of the course. USI details are entered and verified in the student management system. Please refer to the student handbook for more details. To get your USI, go to www.usi.gov.au, click on Create your USI and follow instructions. Keep a record of your USI. Then, to submit your USI, go to www.academies.edu.au, hover over Students and click on Submit USI. Click, please click here to submit your USI. Fill in your details and click Done. USI registration manual has been included in the orientation pack. Student ID cards. You must carry the student identification card while on college premises. Lost student ID cards must be replaced and administrative fee will be charged. Please take note of important dates. And if you need to supply documentation, Please take note of the dates and make sure you support your applications with documentations before the deadline date. If you wish to apply to change courses after you've commenced your enrolment, you must complete the application to change course form outlining the reasons for this change. Pay the change of course fee and submit the application to student services before the due date. If you have completed subjects from another institution or can demonstrate that you have equivalent current competencies, you may apply for Recognition of Prior Learning, also known as RPL, Recognition of Current Competencies, also called RCC, or Credit Transfer, also known as CT. Refer to the Student Handbook for more details and make sure to submit your applications before the deadline. Exemptions may lead to the shortening of the course. It does not affect the Department of Home Affairs requirements that overseas students on a student visa must undertake a full-time study workload of 20 contact hours per week. It does not lead to a reduction of fees payable. And students who wish to apply for RPL may do so by paying an RPL fee per competency. This fee does not apply to CT. Students must undertake a full-time study workload of 20 contact hours per week. Attendance is recorded for each subject. The students must enrol in their subjects and paradigm. Absences must be supported by proper documentation, for example, a medical certificate. You are expected to be punctual for lessons. Mobile phones are to be switched to silent during classes and submit all assignments on time. Assessments must be set out in acceptable format. They must be your own work, except in group projects, copied on completion and copy stored securely and submitted on time. Plagiarism, we do follow copyright laws, so you must provide references if you do use other people's work. No cheating in exams or copying assignments. Failure to attempt an assessment. Alternative tests or assessment could be arranged for special cases such as illness. Reassessments. If you fail an assessment, you may be allowed to undertake a reassessment for an additional fee. If you are unhappy with a grade, you must lodge your appeal within two weeks. The academic year is divided into weeks and terms. 
Academic progress in each subject is monitored and assessed every term. You must access your results by the beginning of the next term from Paradigm and you must complete all subjects. The college must report students who fail to meet the requirements for satisfactory course progress. Warning letters are issued every term. Contact course coordinator or student advisor. Failure to establish contact may lead to an intention to report notice. You have the right to appeal. An internal appeals form must be submitted within 20 working days of receiving an intention to report notice. For more information, refer to the student handbook. The college may allow you to defer or temporarily suspend your studies, including leave of absence for compassionate or compelling circumstances. To apply for leave of absence, you must apply where possible at least two weeks in advance, contact student services and complete leave of absence form along with documents supporting the application, and all required documents must be provided within seven days of submitting the application. Failure to do so may result in your application being denied. There is no cost to students. The college reserves the right to terminate, suspend or cancel your enrollment. You may refer to the student handbook for details. If your enrollment is terminated, suspended or cancelled by the college, you have 20 working days to access the appeal process. If you are unhappy about a decision or action taken by the college or trainer, raise the matter with the trainer first. If you are not satisfied or the matter is more serious, fill an internal appeals form and resolve the matter with the course coordinator. Within 10 days, the course coordinator will contact you or the lecturer for more information. If you are not satisfied, you may escalate the complaint to the executive director. You will be notified of the outcome of the appeal in writing within 10 working days. Should you feel that the problem cannot be resolved with the college, the executive director should be informed. You may also appeal to the Overseas Student Ombudsman and refer to the Student Handbook for more details. You have the right to be treated fairly, courteously and with respect by all staff and other students. Private information is to be treated with confidentiality. Access to the complaints and appeals procedures is your right. You have the right to receive advice or counselling on academic matters from trainers and course coordinators and you have the right to opportunity to access welfare related support services to assist with issues that may arise during your studies. Your responsibility as a student is to be aware of safety and emergency procedures and to report danger, incidents, accidents and injuries. Have your valid student ID within the college premises. Treat other students and staff with courtesy and respect. Be punctual and regular in attendance. Comply with assessment procedures and inform the college of changes to your personal details, emergency contact details, visa or enrollment status. You also need to obtain textbooks as required by trainers, move quietly between classrooms in corridors and generally on the college premises, pay your fees as required by the college, enroll scheduled subjects on the student management system by the second week of term, and access regularly the Academy's Australasia student email account. Students are not allowed to smoke in the college building, take food or drinks into the classrooms, harass students or staff, damage or misuse college property, be under the influence of alcohol or drugs on the premises, or use computer or Wi-Fi to send, search for or download anything which could offend, embarrass or threaten others. Fees are payable in advance. The due date is calculated from the course start date. Email and SMS reminders are sent to students in the Academy's Australasia student email. Once you make a payment, use your student number as a reference for online transfer. Please make sure to update and provide the correct mobile number to receive SMS reminders. At least one full terms notice in writing is required of any intention to withdraw from a course. Withdrawal appointment can be arranged with the student services officer. Students must complete the application for withdrawal of course form. Refunds will be paid within four weeks of receiving the application directly to the student or to another person who has been authorised by the student in writing. 
A statement about how it was calculated will be provided. Other than when a visa is refused before commencement of course, there is no refund for non-refundable fees. There are no refunds after commencement of course. There's no refund for student defaults. This includes breaches of student visa, fail to commence the course or misbehaviour. For more information, please refer to the student handbook. Students are restricted to 40 hours per fortnight once their course has commenced and during any period in which their course is in session. They are able to work unrestricted hours during any scheduled course break. Temporary relaxation of working hours for student visa holders. Due to exceptional circumstances during the COVID-19 pandemic and the need to ensure the supply of critical services, the Department of Home Affairs and Australian Border Force will take a flexible approach to student visa holders working beyond their usual work limitations, but only in specific industries. You can work for more than 40 hours a fortnight if you are employed by an aged care approved provider on Commonwealth funded aged care service provider with a RACS ID or a NAPS ID before the 8th of September 2020. Employed by a registered National Disability Insurance Scheme provider, enrolled in a healthcare related course and you are supporting the health effort against COVID-19 as directed by health officials, employed in the agriculture sector, employed in the tourism and hospitality sector. For more information, please refer to the website. The Department of Home Affairs has abolished automatic and mandatory student visa cancellations. A discretionary framework came into effect instead, which means that if an international student breaches their visa conditions, the Department of Home Affairs will consider the individual circumstances of the breach. The college reporting process remains the same. Privacy policy. Why information is collected, how information is collected, how information is kept, how it's used, disclosure, how the NCVER and other bodies handle your personal information and requests for information correction and complaints are all within our privacy policy and you can refer to the student handbook for more information. For laws that students should know, please refer to the student handbook for the Anti-Discrimination Act, Sexual Harassment Act, Copyright Act and Privacy Act for more details. The International Students Consumer Guide. In Australia, every person has the right to be protected from unfair business practices. Fair trading is the state government agency that resolves disputes between consumers and businesses. This information aims to help you understand your consumer rights and responsibilities in Western Australia. For emergencies, please dial 000 or 000 for police, fire or ambulance. Please use this number only in emergencies. Please be aware of the emergency doors in the building and please take note of building alarms and first aid kits. Please note the fire stairs may only be used in emergencies. Government fines apply for misuse. The Western Australia Police Force also has online platforms on social media and you can follow them for the most up-to-date information. For important numbers and contact details, please refer to the student handbook. For emergency in the college, please contact student services on the number provided. Thank you. We wish you all the best in your studies.